can I tell you a secret? Well, did you know that the most transparent president has been, oops, caught doing something? Oh, there were secret emails that, oh, wait a minute, they forgot to tell them when they got subpoenaed. Hmm. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, yeah, because the, 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 they say, well, the, you know, Chris Christie is now going, is the now the poster boy for the Republican Party. The Democrats are contributing to his re-election campaign. The Democrats are pushing him for the presidency. Uh, the same people that supported Mitt Romney in the Republican Party are now supporting Chris Christie. Uh, there's not a chance in this world this man is even going to get a nomination in the Republican Party unless they throw the right of the party completely out. I mean, uh, so... Um, he's running, okay, okay, here, Herbie Daddy said he's running against Hillary Clinton for the Democratic nomination. Why do you think the Democrats are, okay, when Soros and, Polit and Politico move on, the Rainbow Coalition, they're all contributing money to Christie's re-election campaign and the Democrats aren't running? Because he's planning to turn, he's planning to switch parties for the next presidential election. Okay, like I said, Herbie Daddy said he would not worry about his shape to be a Republican but the Democrats basically don't elect fat presidents, so he had his stomach stapled. So he'll be, uh, by the 216 uh, election, they figure he'll be down maybe 100 pounds of weight. And three judges, who could bring the Senate to its knees? Yeah. The th it was supposed to have been done by now, but the problem is, is that the Obama administration has been caught in another problem, and that problem has basically uh, stopped it. What happened was, the, uh, the Harry Reid and the Democrats and Obama have decided the Republicans have had too much obstructionism and for the good of our nation they have to seize control of the Senate and be a one-party parliamentary situation where the, nothing can be done by the other party to stop any, you know, it, okay they said, what was this morning, they said gun control be, could be settled in our nation Monday, Immig by Monday immigration could be settled Monday. The health care problem could be settled Monday. The IRS situation could be settled by Monday because it would be simply, it would be majority rules would be how the country would be run now. Even though the filibuster has been there since the day the Constitution was written, Harry Reid is going to suspend it by a parliamentary rule for the good of our nation because of obstructionism. That's totally a violation. They said, um, it's why they need to, they, Obama needs to pack the court with as many Democrats as he can. The Senate, House can't stop him. If Obama wants to appoint three more Democratic judges with the, with the Senate controlling the Supreme Court, he can appoint three Democratic judges to rule that they're constitutional and seizing control of the country. So they're, but they got, they, they sort of had a problem this morning, though, Herbie Daddy will tell you. Hmm. And Connecticut to allow illegal immigrants to get a driver's license. Oh, I know. Isn't that something? Well, because, uh, uh, okay, if you're here legally, you can't get a driver's license. If you're here illegally, you can. If you come into the country legally, you're not entitled to a driver's license. But if you come into the country illegally, Herbie Eddy says you can get health benefits, health care, you, uh, you can get government food stamps, you can get all of this stuff. And now you're getting a driver's licenses to be if you're here illegally. And Obama says Democrats will win back the U.S. House in 2014. Well, he's now promising. He said it's a cinch with all of the things that he's that is being done. He said with all of the things that I am doing to make our country better, they're discovering how Republicans are obstructionists to my mind. It's always his my plans for a better country, and uh, they will sweep the Democrats into power in 2014, which is not going to happen now. And President Barack Obama's political appointees, including the Secretary for Health and Human Services, are using secret government email. Uh, that's why everything has came to a change this morning. Like I said, the most transparent presidency in the history of our nation has been caught once again hiding stuff from subpoenas. It also, uh, and, uh, and uh, basically, when Sebelius said, well, I'm not, you, I'm not, do, I'm not doing this and there's no record of me doing contacting these people other than two other than two emails I sent well now it turns out that Obama has a private email that his people and Harry Reid and Nancy Pelosi and 
Oh, shall we say, Supreme Court justices that he might want to appoint have been using to discuss things back and forth that nobody knew about, and now they know about. Obama said, well, this should not have, I didn't know it was happening. Well, his name just used it. And that we're going to find out what's going on at, oh, oh my God. He said that we've already been told by Eric Holder that it's perfectly legal what we're doing, but we shouldn't have been, Eric Holder said, you, you, you shouldn't have done it, which is, um, Back to a thing like I can't have the thing. I always say the dirty dozen folks playing. I got to play in German. I always play bad guys. And uh, one line in a movie which I always would quote was that um, that basically Charles Bronson to Lee Marvin. I did nothing wrong, but Harry. But then Lee Marvin says yes, but you got caught doing it. Mm -hmm. And Moscow suggests missiles have yet to reach Assad. That's what they're all saying. Everybody knows they're actually in place, which is why there's no air. That's why they've not called the no fly zone, folks. And Iran's sponsorship of terrorism sees marked resurgence. Yeah, because Iran knows that Obama will do nothing. I mean, okay, there's nothing that can be done now because they said um, Obama pulled out of Iraq when he pulled out of Iraq and he's pulling out of Afghanistan. He handed all of those countries over to the terrorists, every single one of them. Mm -hmm. And seven months after Sandy Rockaway residents get their subway back, you know why they? Uh, oh, here's why. You know why they didn't? Get, why things aren't going any faster? They vote Republican. Mm -hmm. And Michigan Dingles, Michigan's Dingle, to become the longest serving U.S. lawmaker. Yeah, he basically he shows the fact that he has been there way too long because he's he, he's becoming sort of like. Um, um, uh, some of the southern, some of the southerners have basically been there for 50, 60 years. They have a problem remembering where they're at anymore. Mm -hmm. And GOP group aggressively seeking minority candidates for 2014. They got lots of minority candidates. I mean, the you remember the, the Democrat Republicans had um, a, a, a black senator from Massachusetts. Republicans have had black black uh, governors. Republicans have black assemblymen. There's a history of Republicans and minorities. Uh, I mean, the Republicans have got the only Latinos serving in the, uh, in, the, in the government at the moment, folks. There don't seem to be a whole lot of them in Obama's administration. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's true. There aren't, aren't That's there? right. And letter possibly laced with risks and sent to Obama. Oh, I know. It just gets to be... The Democrats will find anything they need to make, uh, make the Obama and others look like they're being under the attack by right wing. The problem comes is that every time you dig down, everybody says, they tend to be left wing individuals that are doing all of this. And Turkish Prime Minister calls for a meeting and to protest as clashes flare. Well, yeah, because they have a constitution that says they can't, they, the Islamic religion cannot interfere with the rights of the people and the Islamic, the Islamic religion is taking over the entire country again. And Ataturk, which basically created modern Turkey specifically, and he, this guy was, a, was a, a devout Muslim, but he figured you have to separate religion from running the country, and they're basically, one of the people said, well, you're doing a great disservice to the great founder of Turkey by becoming a, a, a secular nation now. Hmm. And fighting in Syria's Qusair, UN says world watching. Nobody in the world cares. I mean, okay, uh, they, every, Obama waited too long and because the United States was not willing to get involved because Obama's not going to fight his, his, his religious cronies, so uh, they said, well, Obama sends drones in. Obama's killing Americans, folks. Mm -hmm. he, he has no compulsion not to kill Americans. And fighting in Syria's Qusair, UN says the world is watching. You know, she likes it, so she oh, read it twice. That's true. Frankfurt Blockupy, protesters clash with police for a second day. Yeah. Blockupy. Oh, God, it's another stupid left-wing protest group. Oh, it is? Yeah. And then more than 1,000 killed in Iraq violence in May. Yeah, and it's, um, very shortly, it is going to be just as bad as it was before we got into the country. Because you can't go off, you basically what you do is you leave the cavalry. The cavalry comes to the rescue, but Obama's not even, they told him 15,000 troops isn't even enough to protect the green zone where we're at. Oh, it is. But he doesn't care because he's got to get out. And a Monty bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Okay, that, um, okay, if, you break your cell phone and you can't afford to get it replaced. Say broken glass in your cell phone is the latest fad. 
I know, they're actually saying that's cool now. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs>